Oi, I'm the beekeeper. Like your base. Tell me how you're the beekeeper, man. <laughs> I thought you like honey. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you like honey doesn't make you a beekeeper, you know. Oh, I kick ass as I'm the beekeeper. No, you're a YouTuber. <laughs> 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 ah! right, so, welcome back to the channel everyone as you can see i have a very special guest on the channel today his name is david would you like to introduce yourself yeah of course my name is david but people like to call me the big truth yeah and i'm here today with my man mr Gordon, on the channel we try to talk about bees today man Not so. <laughs> the beekeeper yeah so sorry the beekeeper and this is our review of the beekeeper the beekeeper follows the story of a a beekeeper basically that goes on a dangerous rampage after someone he cares about um, commits suicide because of some fraud stars. What do you think about this film, David? Well, I think um, for me, there's no such thing as a bad film with Jason Statham in it. Mm. All the way from <laughs> Fuck You Chelios to The Beekeeper, it's all mm. been a superb um, action is put on TV. Um, personally, I think The Beekeeper is actually a very, very clean cut movie. It was very deliberate and it was very direct to the point. I mean, for a one-off movie, it's actually good enough. I like the the, the action in it. I like the humor. I like how he, um, he put so much sarcasm into executing who he was in the film. So oh. I think the beekeeper was definitely it. I think that thing is about sarcasm. I think it's actually true because me personally, the film did not blow me away. I did not really enjoy it like that. It felt oh, like why it was... I don't know. There are some things that just felt like this, the right thing for me. The story of it did not... Did not blow me away. It felt like something I have seen before, and it was not executed as greatly as it could have been. But that sarcasm thing, that humor thing that you said about, I think mm. if you think about it, in my own opinion, maybe the filmmakers were like trying to make fun of themselves while making the film. Like that's how it came off to me. Like they knew that they were doing something that was kind of cheesy, if that's what I can say about it, and they were playing to it and they were laughing at themselves almost like. So that thing you said about humor. Do you think it was corny? Do you think it was yes, funny? yes, I did. I did yeah, think so. Definitely, I think, I think definitely, we are having a very, very increased tolerance for 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 perfection on TV these days mm -hmm. because because of the level of um technology and storytelling we have these days. So mm -hmm. you actually have to be extremely good to be to be good to look good. You need to be extremely good to be good <laughs> yeah. on TV these days. So I think they actually did a good job. The movie wasn't meant to be. A, a number one on box of his movie, mm. but, I mean, it, it did its bits. It kept us busy. It kept, yeah. it kept us engaged. Yes, really well. that's true. I agree. How long so was it? Was it up to two hours? No, I think one hour, almost fifty something, if not. But it's not to two hours, sure. Yeah. One hour, I think it did a good job in keeping us engaged to TV. I mean, yeah, that's, that's literally one of um their priorities. Yeah. yeah. The the thing that like like you said, it was engaging, and I was engaged with it. But the story did not just hook me. Like the first 30 minutes of the story, when they were building up, when they're showing the things about the scam and him just getting into the film, like I felt so engaged. Those parts were like, oh, this thing seems very, very interesting. I'm not going to lie to you, though. It's, 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 somehow, it's somehow implies that society here in Nigeria, if you feel what I'm saying. Mm. I mean, because, I mean, look at the whole story. It was like, he scams the girl, the woman he really, really liked, and then he came for you, bro. Look good. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was that. Was, I think you know that was the name of that. The title of that movie could easily be Nemesis, bro. Because mm, it was really, really Nemesis catching up. With catching up with them, and like, yeah. like you said, how we could see it in Nigeria. Like, imagine something like that happens in Nigeria because Nigeria is a country that we have scammers in Nigeria. <laughs> 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 we have scammers in Nigeria. So imagine something like this happens. Um, it's not something that, like, I don't even think about. Yeah, I, I really come to think of it. What were the odds that they were scamming everyone and they had to scam um, the beekeepers? The one person, yeah, the one know. person you really like. It's like, you could easily scam the whole country, yeah, you wouldn't mind. Exactly. Nobody would Just have come for you. Just really scam the one person. That's what you talk Yo. about giving out bad energy and receiving it back. Seriously. And that's what came back. Nemesis. It was literally Nemesis at play. It was. I know I said I did not like the movies. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I did not like it. It was enjoyable. I mean, it entertained me. The action sequences were good. Especially the last action sequence. That last fight with that. That girl, that one, the Irish man accent, the yes. Irish man. He had this crazy. Irish. <laughs> he it, sounded, it, sounded, it sounded like, 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 like this guy, yeah, she must. It sounded like she must. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Sure. Yeah, I mean, why, why, have you noticed in all movies, Irish men are always so brute, so dangerous, mm -hmm. so brutal. Like, they always have the baddest hitmen. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a kind of like, I think, yeah, yeah, I think it's they have some with their Viking blood. I <laughs> think <laughs> <laughs> Vikings, they are Vikings, they're yeah. Scandinavian, so they're Vikings. Oh, maybe. Okay. Yeah. But that fight sequence with that last guy, that last fight sequence was like, yo, it was very, very brutal. Like, uh, like, like it felt like 
a different kind of movie from the other fight sequences. I like how we actually finished off. He finished off with him just exploiting just one weakness. He kicked off his own false foot yes. and then he lost his balance. And yes. then he just, he and just finished him. Like, see the way he beat him. Yo, I was like, damn, I wish the other fight sequences had been as brutal as that one. It would have been much more fun for me actually i actually also enjoyed the fights um the, the, the fights that happened when when he came to meet the fbi he was standing outside where, where he yeah, just entered their midst yeah, and they were barricaded from going inside and then he just entered their midst and was like um oh yeah this was you're going to do this what you're going to do i would have entered but i couldn't really enter through the back door because there was no back door there he was like telling them what to do and they were like this Who's man this <laughs> someone detained this guy and then immediately yeah, and he, he just he just beat you know, all of them i enjoyed the beating guys. you really, know one really, of really my things really. is that like those guys have guns this man is not a gun and this man just comes in and beats all these people that have guns. and, and like, he, he he actually didn't kill any of them people. outside yeah, he, he didn't kill them he was go. shooting them all on their vests so the, but the, like they, they have guns they could have easily incapacitated them or something maybe just shoot his leg or shoot something so he would not be able to move but I feel like they just add a lot of conveniences to just move the plot forward. I think in real in real time he will be John John Wick's cousin. In real time. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about John Wick, John Wick actually gets shot at. He gets like he gets beaten. He gets attacked. Bullets are fired. Nah, Jason a... Statham is not John Wick. It's different. <laughs> it says John Wick says <laughs> it's different. Well, <laughs> <laughs> mm. like I was saying, the characters were not like that interesting characters they just felt like one dimensional characters they did not have a lot of depth to them like yeah. i feel like if it was another person apart from jason statham that helms this film this film would not have done as good as it did like if it was so like a relatively unknown actor yeah people don't really care much for this movie because it seems like something we've seen so many times i mean it's a revenge flick and follows this man that's just kicking a lot of ass Somehow, I think I think that has to do a lot with the dynamics of of the marketing index on film and TV these days. These days, they don't really want to put so much energy, so much finance and time into a movie that won't become a franchise mm. eventually. They always want to invest more in movies which will become franchise, which will have sequels, sequels and sequels yeah. and seasons. I feel um, Beekeeper was just this movie you do to actually keep you um, engaged and also hopeful about what is coming up next. Mm. Is that kind of movie? It wasn't meant to be a number one on box office mm. movie. It was just, it was just like a very good film. It was just oh, a very good oh. film, I'll and it it's, it's, film it's, it's fair enough to not say it's not say it's excellent. It's not excellent, but definitely, I just like Jason Statham, so I could easily yeah. be biased. I'll always be biased for the things I like. <laughs> I feel you. So that's like, definitely. It. I, I am that way with Leonardo DiCaprio. If Leonardo DiCaprio, I mean, it's not like he has even made any bad films, but any film is in automatic. Is he gets, just, he you just, know? he just wants to be like, ah, uh, yeah, I know he deliberately did not make this one a hit. He does what he wants to kill, but. Um, Beekeeper, I just simply think it's that movie. Um, you, you just make it's just like um, lift from Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, or um, um, what was the name of the spy movie he acted? Um, he acted a spy movie where, recently, where he went to train to become a, a, a spy or an agent or something. He acted a movie like that. I can't remember. Die, Kevin Die Hearts. Oh, okay, Die okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay, okay. So okay. films like that basically is they are just spin-offs they're not really mm. main films yeah i feel yeah. You. like i think it just goes back to the entertainment industry yeah. as well they just want to make money and they, they just want, want to make things money that, and stuff like things that. are sure to get people in the seats to, you can't really blame them money. like the demand for tv and and screen time it's it's beginning it's increasing daily mm. so you mm. definitely have to keep supplying to yes. keep you in relevance and then to keep you in your position you need to keep supplying and supply mm-hmm. So I I, I see I think it was it wasn't the most perfect movie but I really liked it mm. I really liked it like I, I like I, I like I like how Jane Saddam actually he actually chains up and then just he brings up this um this this masculinity who, like Andrew Tate he doesn't give a fuck mm. about anybody he's just like oh, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna kill you gonna yes <laughs> like he just says I'm going to kill yeah actually, like, it was it's, it's like, actually rude, I can't deny some of the action sequences and it was overall entertaining it's like it's not like it was boring or anything. It's just that me, I felt like the writing could have been better, but yeah, it was still a very, very entertaining movie. I feel like this movie, I'd have enjoyed it more if I was drunk, <laughs> if I was high or something. Like, it would have made a lot of sense to me because I was so bad while I was watching it and I was like questioning everything. I was like being all so logical about yeah, it. Like, and I'm like, I think this is not the kind, kind of dumb. film you come with all your, with all your logics. Mm. It's not the kind of film you come to join yeah, with all your logics. They actually yeah. made 
they are actually made more laid back movies. They are made to be. They are just made to simply be enjoyed and yes. not really be criticized. No, exactly, just you enjoy it as don't, it is. Don't 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 ask why why someone is not in, why someone is not in cocaine in, in the White House. Mm. Like don't ask questions like that. Why someone, <laughs> just don't ask why, like why that. someone will actually have a national database for his own personal company. I mean, mm. even Google doesn't have that. Wow, even Tesla you. doesn't have that. Of course, that's too much to too give much to someone. That's too much information. So mm. I think it's basically to just be enjoyed. Okay. Okay. You just like spy kids, you just have family movie, you just watch and enjoy. Like, it actually makes sense, like that's the best yeah. way to enjoy going that's to these films without any expectation, you just go into it to just enjoy what yeah, I think you're actually to get. some things would have actually made more sense in the film. I of feel course. if he had if he had more if he had more competition, I mean, did you see the new beekeeper? The new beekeeper, beekeeper wasn't even it. And no, uh, the new beekeeper wasn't like, it. like she literally beekeepers that are made to be like these legendary yeah. figures. And this one just came out. If, just that, was, if, just if, like if, if that was a new beekeeper, um, I, I would definitely say, um, the old hive is that is going to die very, <laughs> very, very soon because, because definitely there's no future, like, there's no future so in there. In that's one of the things of that just made me feel like, come on. These people are meant to be legendary, and this one is just discarded, just like that. Like she died so easily, so easily she died in one fight. And now uh, one fight, like and the fight was never up to five minutes. Uh, damn, you're so right. crazy. It was so, so crazy. So I felt like things could have been done differently. Differently, yeah, yeah. yeah, better. And I think one of the reasons why I had my expectations high is because I heard so much about this film. Like I've seen so many people praising, like this film is one of the best action action film of the year. Blah blah blah. So I was like, I was hyped. Let's go. I wanted to see how crazy and brutal this thing was going to get. And so when I got what I got, it was just underwhelming. It was not as yeah, I, I feel expected. You, I, feel you. I think it's because of the singularity of character. He didn't really have allies. He didn't mm. really have um he didn't really have any backing or any protege. He was very, very alone in the movie. Mm -hmm. There was no place where he had to get shots, go get treated. And mm. then try to regain his strength again. Yes, exactly. Was, those was, things have made yes, those things, I think those things would have made him more engaging, more, yes. more intrinsic. But yes. it was just like doing everything, like you were so just doing everything, like like like, like, like a messiah. You were just <laughs> just changing everything, like it was passing red seas. So I, <laughs> I feel like if they are they are made him more human. I mean, John Wick gets shot and then goes to, goes goes to get treated exactly. in the toilet with um with glues exactly. and bam bam. And, and sometimes people have to shoot the person that yeah, shoots you him. Yeah, you Just you me. So in him. this case, it's like a very, it's a very very it's a, it's just like a psychopath. Someone like that. I don't think he's a good guy. <laughs> Do you think the beekeeper was a good guy? Yeah, but Do you think he's... Adam was a good guy? Yeah, I think I can classify him as a good guy. He does bad things, but he does it to bad people. So. You know, I don't think he necessarily kills any of those law enforcement agents. He just you know, kills the bad guys. There's just this one part that always make me. Now that's where all the answer comes in. You remember when he killed a new um, she was a beekeeper, right? Yeah. When he killed her, there was this guy who was quivering at the corner, yeah. and then he was like, "Give me your keys." Yeah, yeah. Immediately he drove out. The whole um, gas station literally exploded. exploded. Did he really? Try, did he actually take that guy from there? Or if that guy was there when he exploded, I don't think he's a good I'm guy. Not true. You know, I just even forgot that, about that's, that. That's the only yardstick I always mm. measure. Um, he's right. He's good or but bad in person. Hmm. He was already. Like everyone already saw his face before that time, so it's not like he would have killed the guy to um, uh, hide his identity. Uh, man, like no witnesses. Pray. I'll pray actually to that guy. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's definitely not a good guy. He's only killing. I think if the, if he didn't take that guy out of that place, I think he's only killing because the actually the, the only one person who started to care for him was dead. I think mm. that he would be actually very, very um selfishly inclined. Mm. And I think if you just choose anybody, it will actually make him a much more interesting character. Yeah, and also because... I think I think we could um the the daughter of the the daughter of a lady also. Mm. I think she she also has a part to play in the, in why the movie went the way it did. Don't you think so? No, like what do you mean? She 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 wasn't much of a daughter in that movie. Mm. It's like they're very distant. Yeah, but you know she said something like, "Amanda never really loved that. She loved her brother more." So I think I think us saying that was like uh, a way to kind of excuse the way she was behaving because like your mother just died. She did not like she should have put in more emotions. She should have felt like much, it was much very closer. very banal. Like it was just like anyone else that just died. He didn't really feel deep with that. Exactly, he did not feel deep. Uh, well, people, are, people, are people, you can't mm. really judge them. Yeah. But I think, I think he was more invested in the case than she was. Exactly. Yeah. So they actually did a very good co-op 
I mean, she actually had the chance to shoot him multiple times, and she let him go. So I think that was a good. Gesture. But speaking of the cops, the a relationship with the other guy, those guys were, I don't know, that's why I said the characters felt like one dimensional characters. They do not have much to give, they are not that interesting characters. There are sometimes they will say some things that I was like, for real, I can't say something. Yeah. You remember the time when a partner, the girl's partner, he asked her, do you like fires? They said, your mom's house is on fire. Like, that's a very, very insensitive thing to say. And it felt like they were trying to be comedic about it. And the lady didn't even react to it anymore. Like, Someone that just lost her mother, you are telling her you like fires, <laughs> your mother's always on fire. Like, that's a very, very silly joke to make. I think that guy, her colleague, yeah. was actually making that joke. Mm-hmm. I think it was a very, very, it was a very, very <laughs> real person. It yeah. tells of, yeah, of how much of friends they are. You can't really crack jokes mm-hmm. like that with okay. someone in a very dire situation yeah, if you aren't exactly. very close. He's very, very real. I like his originality mm-hmm. and he's also very funny. <laughs> He's actually okay, very. I, mean, I, I honestly didn't find it funny. Like there are a lot of times that they were trying to be funny that it did not just land with me. I feel like the comedy could have been much better. There are some times that I, I legit laughed at some things that happened that was legit funny, but most of the time the comedy did not hook me like that. I think the reason why it was like that was because of the hopes you had for the movie. Yeah. Yeah, if you had just watched it like yeah, like right. us, you don't really expect too much. <laughs> yeah, I think that's like that thing has happened to me so many times. Like I have so much expectation for a film, and when I watch it, like it doesn't live up to my expectation. I think that is yeah. my thing is I should not have had as high expectations as I did. I should just have gone in blind and just. No, you can't really words. be like that yeah, because 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 you already had you already had indexes in your mind which you are going to measure the film by. Yeah. So I think it's normal. You can easily watch the film um just as a normal spectator, or you could watch the film as a yeah. Well, you, know, you can easily have watched it without not hearing anything about it in the public. Like yeah. I watched a movie yesterday, American Fiction. I've not heard anything about the movie, so I went into the movie and I enjoyed it. So I feel like if I had not heard anything about this movie and I went into it, I might have enjoyed it a little bit more than I did. So. Yeah, I think it's just a little, little bias that lingers in our mm. judgments. It's always, it's, I think it's natural. It's natural. You know, but so we definitely we all have um different reactions to yeah, different movies. Of course. So definitely, I think it could have been more. It could have been more if they if they made him more, more, more of an invested person. If he was more invested in other people and personal relationships, mm. you he would actually be more interesting. Yeah. Yeah, but in the film he was very bland. Yes. He was very generic. He, yes, exactly. There wasn't too much um, originality to his cause. Exactly. He was just like passing the rest and doing everything. <laughs> so I feel like if you had shown him, maybe he had some old allies who he actually mm. met to actually fight. You don't just mean beat the the whole um, AF one and then the whole guard of the US no, of, 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 of the US Secret Service yeah. that easy. Bro, I don't care who like, you are. You can't just infiltrate them that easy. Like alone and just yes, deal with like, them. Even John Wick, when John Wick had to deal with some people, he had to get help from other people. Yeah, of course. At some so, point, yeah. you're fighting with US government, bro. You, no, I don't care how bad they are. Like, they are very, very, this is a very powerful force um, exactly. that guides them. So I could have seen that. I wanted to see that friction. I would have loved to see that yes. fiction, but he wasn't there. Yes. So let's just see. So it's just that last fight scene that had much more challenge for him on like the other fight. So if those other fight sequences had come like that, it would have been a much more interesting film. But all the same, it was a good enough watch. Yeah, <laughs> not every day is Sony, bro. Abio. Yeah, so I think it was great enough. So have you guys seen the beekeeper? What do you think about it? Comment below and let me know. Dave, do you have any last words on the beekeeper? I just think it's cream worthy and it's worth your time. So I'll uh, make time out to see the beekeeper and then let's know what you think about it. So um like, comment, subscribe, and then subscribe. always on your notifications. We always have some banger content going yep. on here. And yep. he's right here, he's the big guy here. Yeah, so it's really nice to meet you, my guy. <laughs> Thank you, my bro. Uh, yeah, bro. So see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers, bro.